mix made in a muffin tin. I've never done it before. I was searching around and looking for crazy ideas and I saw this. I don't think it's a crazy idea. I think it's a wonderful idea. You get individual servings and you can also wrap it up nicely and give it as a gift which I'll be giving this to the senior center. So it's wonderful. So let's try it. I'm not sure how it's going to come out, but you can use a box mix of your choice. Doesn't matter. Follow the directions on the box. That's what I'm doing. Now, I am going to do the fudge like brownies. I like mine gooey and ooey. So what we're going to do is we're going to put two eggs in and we are going to put a quarter cup of water and a half a cup of oil and i already have this in one container less dishes and then you need something to mix it with so i got this and i got my grammy's old mixer beater okay so let me pan you down and you can watch Okay, we're going to get started. These are the good old days using one of these. I'll mix it up good with this. Geez, I guess my arms are weak. I need to get using one of these more. Need to build some upper strength. No wonder my grandmother had great arms. Back in those days, they worked hard. They hung their clothes. They washed their clothes by hand. They used hand mixers, even though I still hang my clothes up. I had surgery in this palm hand. I had a ganglion cyst, so they cut from here. They cut from here to here, and I have no cushion, so I have to be very careful because it bothers my hand. So I may, I don't think I can do this. It's too much pressure on it. But I guess I better start strengthening my hand up. So what we'll do is I always try to have a plan two and a plan three. Just like this. We go to the whisk. And we whisk it up really good. My Grammy's up there probably saying, Brenda, now come on. That's a pretty batter. Smells good. I wish I had some extra chocolate. I'm going to open the refrigerator door. I think Ray ate all the chocolate bars. Ooh. Ooh, he did. Son of a gun. I was going to use some. Oh, well, guess we can't. We just got to add a little more chocolate to it. I'm not sure if I want to frost the top of these a little and put some sprinkles, or I may just leave them because they are a brownie. But I could put peanut butter, a little bit of peanut butter topping. Oh, I could think of all sorts of toppings I could put on it. Okay, now bring this over here. And we're gonna fill it up here. Push this back a little. I'm using my my old ice cream scoop that I like so well. And what number did I say this was? This is a number. Mm, or this could be the one that don't have one on there. Stainless steel. Nope, this one doesn't have the number. But I love this size ice cream scoop. And basically that's it and I'm going to put it in the oven at 375 and you want to look for when the tops start cracking and when that's done 
when that's cracking, that means they're pretty much done. So I'm gonna put it in for, oh, I'm gonna try 30 minutes and I'm gonna check them out. I even may check them at 25 because like I said, I've never done this before and a muffin tin sounds pretty good to me though. So let me uh, finish this up, stick it in the oven and I'll bring you back and show you the results. And of course I've got to try one, maybe two, maybe three, who knows? Okay, I'm back and they're cooled. And while I was sitting in my chair, I thought, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to dot these. Then I'm going to put some little Valentine hearts on them using some Valentine's candy. I think they would really like that. So, uh, I don't know what made me think of it. That's why I said you never know what's going to be on my videos. Now, I really like how they came out. I think, I'm getting very low here on this. I think um, they came out really nice. I like the size of them. And they can be picked up perfectly. You can cut them in half. You could eat them with a hand, eat them with a fork. You could have these for parties. You could stack them in different tiers. I could just think so many things you could do with the way these um, brownies came out. I'm just sticking them on like this. The one actually I'm going to eat, I am not going to um, have any candy on that. I think I'm sweet as I can be. Ha! <laughs> as Ray would say, you're sour as a pickle, Brenda. Okay, so hold on. Okay, folks, here they are, all plated. Don't they look really nice? And look at the size of these. They're just perfect. You can just hold right in your hand. I will definitely be making mine like this from now on. I have one right here. And I'm going to try a piece. I shouldn't because it's almost dinner time. Mmm. Look at that. It's really, really good. So please give me thumbs up so YouTube can recognize it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that bell down below. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. And um, we'll see, today's Wednesday. I'll be back, because I'll tell you who the shout out's going to. Okay, folks, my tambourine back in the day when I used to belly dance. Okay, the shout out goes to Babbitt's in the garden. Yes, sir, Babbitt's in the garden. She has a cute little channel. She talks about everything. Um, she shows different things. And she's just a great, great lady. Um, so I will leave her link below. Uh, she's going to love this. So go check her out. And when you do, tell her, hey, Maniac Grammy Brenda sent me over. So go check Babbitt is in the garden out and I'll leave the link below. She'll be on for a week, and then next Wednesday, I will shout out somebody else. Have a great day. God bless. See you tomorrow.